Hello, my friends. It's Nancy Bastien. And what I'm doing today is I'm going to um, copy, because that's what I do, Eileen McKinnis. I sent her these art tiles, and she couldn't remember who sent them to her, but it was me, Eileen. I sent them to you. And I have a whole bunch of them also. So she was making card fronts, and I need to make, um, I don't have to make, but I want to make a thank you card for the uh, friends of Wes's that invited us over to dinner a couple of weeks ago. I kind of wanted to send her a thank you card, and I made her a, a couple of uh, sun catchers with the... Um, <clears throat> um, CDs I was making. So I have the art tile here and I have this um, stencil and I'm going to, oops, and I'm going to put uh, some texture on it with some, I have this deco art dimensional effects. I really like that because it's really soft. I use this a lot in the um, molds that I made with the uh, doilies and stuff. So I'm going to put this square right here fits perfectly on this uh, card. So I'm going to put that. Then I'm going to see if I can get that in the middle of it. We'll see. So let's get started. <laughs> so how has everybody been? Oh, this is a new one. I think I had a different one that was open. How's everybody been? I hope you've been okay. I have not been arting for a couple of days. I don't know. I seem like I just can't get out of bed in the morning. It's, uh, I get up and then I go back to bed and lay there and watch YouTube videos and by the time I get up and get going, it's past 3 o'clock. I don't know what's going on with me. Maybe a little bit of um, depression might be setting in. I don't know. I try to fight it all the time. Um, I don't like that word, and I don't like to have it. But anyway, I'm arting today. I've got to get this out in the mail to her, or she's going to think that we were really rotten people and can you even send her a thank you note for her wonderful she cooked us salmon baked salmon and um, baked potatoes sweet potato and regular potato and corn on the cob and she had she, and oh, she had a tray full of, uh, I don't know why I'm putting a lid on that, because I'm going to try to put that in the center of it. And she had a tray of fruit, like strawberries, and, oh, that's yummy. I don't clean my uh, stencils, so I'm getting a little purple on there, and I don't care. So I'm going to try and stick that in the center with that ruining the rest of my thing here. Probably should have let it dry. We'll see how this does. Oh yeah, it came out okay. Just that one circle down there got messed up, but that's okay. So let's see, I don't have much on the stencil to clean off, but I do want to take a paper towel and, or not a paper towel, a baby wipe and, you know, when I get on the camera, I can't talk. It just, my mouth just doesn't let me talk at all. Why is that? Here are the artist tile set cards. 
I sent, I think I sent one or two packs to Eileen because I knew she would know what to do with them. I bought them back in the day when I had lots of money. Now I'm broke and I have no money. We moved from mom's house and had to pay big old rent. Now we don't have any money. It's okay. It's okay. It's A-OK. -okay. We didn't need to live there anymore anyway. Excuse me, I've got burps. I ate a banana. I ate a banana. Okay, that's good enough. I have a piece of deli paper that I'm working on today for a backdrop paper. Alright, let me dry that up a little bit and I will be right back. I'm going to pause this and dry it up. Okay, it's all dry. My deli paper, because I didn't dry my table off. The deli paper got wet underneath and it's making it making it curl up. So the next thing we're gonna do is it's not quite dry yet, but that's okay. It's dry enough. Is I'm gonna put some um teal mister on it, but I don't want to spray it. Like Eileen said, you don't want to get a big glob on it of spray so I'm going to do like she did and she just put some drip some on it well it doesn't want to come out of my Maybe I need a little paintbrush. Let's see. That ought to work. And then I'm going to spray it with some alcohol. let it run and the alcohol evaporates really quick yeah I like that yeah alcohol went everywhere Phew. I need a smaller bottle of this alcohol. It's really spraying everywhere. That's okay. I don't need a drop paper today. I don't. I do have one handy here. This is watercolor. This is mixed media. Let me just get a piece of this out. I'm almost don't have any more blank ones in here. I've used them all for drop papers. But that's okay. All right. So now I want to put a little bit of purple, I think, on that. The same way. I get the paintbrush. Ooh, that stuff stinks. And I'm going to spray it again with the alcohol. I 
just let it run. That's pretty, huh? I need a paper towel to blot it up a little bit. A kitchen roll. I need a kitchen roll. All right. Now dry that just a little bit. I think I'm going to put a napkin on it. I forgot to get my glue. And I got it right here. I'm not going to cover the whole thing with this napkin, just a piece of it. This is one of those... Um, um, tissues I got it in the dollar bin at Michael's I think it was Michael's could have been Hobby Lobby or something okay I'm just gonna Like I said, I don't want much on it, just a little bit here and there. A little bit there. Okay, let's see how that does. And it's not dry yet. But it'll have to be dry. This is some glue I mixed up the other day. I think I need to give it a stir. It's a little on the runny side. Oh my goodness, I put my little spoons in here. You know what these are? I found these at IGA. They were hanging up by the baby food. They're on the go baby food spoons. And if you ever find them, you get a whole package of them. And they are just right for mixing up stuff like this. And they're just right for putting, um, if you have your embossing uh, powder in a, in a bowl, they're just right to get that out. I just want to kind of give this a little, a little more texture, I guess. Let's 
a little more color. I'll put a little more on there. But I want the torn edges. I don't want the straight edges. a little more up in that corner. I don't know. I should have put the whole thing on, I guess. I guess, I guess. Okay. And to give that a dry. And I'll be right back. Okay. And it's all dry and now I'm getting ready to put some embellishments on it but I um, yesterday punched these out but they don't go they don't go with it let me pull you in a little bit the colors don't go with it and um, so I'm not going to use those but um, this is the card that I'm going to put it on and so it goes really good on that it's like a mint green and it goes really good on there so I thought I uh, would I had a piece of this left over so I punched out with my oval scalloped oval punch a piece of paper of it and I'm gonna stamp thank you on it with black Versamark and I searched and searched yesterday for this thank you stamp I knew I had it I just had to look in the right box or thing I have it in stamp thing and I'm gonna get thank you on there And see how it's going to look on that. I think it goes really good. What do you guys think? Anyway, I'm going to ink it up and dress it up a little bit. But I thought I'd get that done. So I wouldn't be here for days. And then I got out some bling. back on there so it doesn't get lost put this away in my little basket over here that I have my stamps and stamp blocks in anyway um I got out some bling and I have some I don't have much ribbon hardly any but I'm gonna find something in this little goodie jar here that's elastic. That might. I don't want to bling it up too much because I don't think she's a real blingy person. But I don't have any of the right colors. And I have this little butterfly I made. Where did it go? Oh, it's right here. I was going to put that on there. What do you guys think? You think that looks good on there? No, oh, it's going on there anyway. Because that's the only thing I can find in my arsenal of ribbon that I don't have so 
Then I thought I would put some either these on the butterfly. These little uh, dew drops that I painted. I don't know if they're too big. I think they're too big for his body. So now we're going to go to the little ones. Guys, I haven't made cards in I don't know how many years. I used to make them all the time. I just can't do them. I just, they look awful. I don't know how to coordinate colors. So let's see. I have this little picker upper thinger. And those are little, but you can see them. Anybody wants to email some of me some blingy stuff, you're welcome to. Now they got sticky stuff on them, but they're, I don't think they're sticking. But I wanted to hold it up and see what you guys thought. What do you think? I'll put some more on there. Come on, is it on autofocus? What do you think? You can't hardly see it, can you? Subtle's better than nothing, maybe. Let me take this blue one off and I'll put pink all over it. And that, oh, this is just not my, they don't have sticky on the side that needs to be sticky. So these are going to be really obnoxious for me to get on there. That doesn't look pink. I think that'll work if I can just get glue on there to with my fingers. Gosh. You guys want to jump in and help? Do you, do you? Do you want to jump in and help me? These were uh, butterflies that I made with from Nina Benina. Showed us how to make these butterflies. 
If you haven't seen this video, you need to go over and watch because it is amazing how she did these. Okay, I'm going to put tacky glue down. I have my glue gun, but these are so little. I'm going to try and put a not much tacky glue, but gotta have some yeah I used to make scrapbooks I made a lot of them gave them away first of all I was a card maker Alright, that put a little bit of bling in it. Are we getting a heartbeat from the autofocus? I will turn it off. Well, the glue will dry. That will dry clear. I just wanted to put some bling on it. Okay, now let's do... I'm going to put this away. Now let's do um, the inking around the edges here. And get out my inks. Oh, I got a blingy there. Maybe I'll have to put it on here. take these all out every time I should put them in a box and I don't see one that will go on here maybe that green how about a yellow there's yellow in here. There's also pink in there. I think. What do you guys think? Tell me what you need. What I need. I need yellow. Okay. Let's see if I can get yellow on here. Maybe I should have put purple because it's going to be on a purple. That looks good. Good enough. Good enough for me. I'll put that bling on there because it's just sitting there wanting to be put on there. No, I'm going to put dew drops. And I'm going to put a couple of dew drops on there. Let's see, I'll put one. I'm telling you, I can't pick up anything anymore. Uh, they're too big, too. They're just too big. Let me see if I have my flat back. I don't think I have my flat back pearls out here when I was doing um, I haven't put my stuff back since I was doing beads no nope. 
Okay. Well, I'm not going to worry about that little bling. Okay, so I want this to go probably down here somewhere. I probably should use Fabricac. That purple ribbon just, or this just doesn't go. Maybe I'll just stamp that out of, maybe I'll spray this paper. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this ribbon. But I'm going to spray some spray on this. paper and that's way too dark and that ain't going to work either Hmm. Okay, guys, I need some, I need some help. That's too busy to write thank you on. All right, I'm going to shut you off and I'm going to go think about this for a minute, see what I'm going to do here. Okay, um, I decided to get a different um, color of butterfly, and that makes a difference. And then I have my sparkling water gel watercolor crayons, and I'm going to just color a little bit of this white um, printer paper, and I hope I can get it to that uh, maybe that green color right there. And then I'm going to take a baby wipe and uh, smear that around. I'm going to need a little bit more. But I think that's going to be the ticket here. And let's see if that'll look okay. And I'm going to cut it out. I know it's still wet. And hopefully my goodness it's not close enough to the edge I don't want white edges in here goodness goodness I'm having a struggle arting should not be this much of a struggle but to me it's a struggle life's a struggle Okay, don't tear. And it kind of did because it's wet. But that kind of gives it a cool texture. Look at that. All right, let's see what that does. It just might be this ribbon. Oh, 
Okay, I think that looks better. It goes better. All right, now I just got to dry this up so I can stamp on it. He gun. Okay, good enough. Wonder if I can kind of go around the edges. Yeah. That looks good. Okay, we got that done. Let's put this away so I don't lose it. I lose everything. Now, the other thing I have is let's pull out some stuff here. Let's just pull it all out. All right. I have this. Oh, and I have this. Look. Ta -da! What do you think? Ta -da! I can't make it too bulky, and the butterfly is going to be bulky. So, I'm going to stick all that back in there. I have that little bitty one like that. It's kind of purple and white. That would be pretty. I think I'm going to go with this little one. This little purple and white one. I need a drink of water. Oh, now I gotta get my stamp again, which is right here. And I always stamp on a piece of foam. I got hot glue going everywhere over here. I need to get that glue gun that. Stacy has.
it doesn't drip. I hate this one. It drips everywhere. Okay. That's pretty pretty. Okay. Now, how do I want this oriented here? Do I want it this way? This is a three by three card. I think that's good. What do you guys think? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. And then we'll put the butterfly on. Like that. Okay. We're gluing down now. Here comes the hot glue. I'll just tuck those over on the back. Like so. You guys can all tell me how awful card maker I am. I won't get offended. At all. But I saw Eileen doing this, and I thought, you know what? I gave her those art tiles, and I have some left. And I think I'm going to get out and do what she did. Because it looks so cool. i got to turn that autofocus off. It's driving people crazy. Okay, now another thing I need to go find is my corner chomper, and I know exactly where it is, so I'll be right back. Okay. I thought I was prepared. You never are totally prepared. No matter what you do, I try to get everything out. Now, should I try to put that little bling on there? Or should I just forget it? It's supposed to stick to the end of these. But it don't. Now it wants to stick on that. Just forget it, Nancy.
Well, I'm going to put it there. I'm going to put a drop of glue over here on my paper. And I'm going to hopefully pick this up. Drop it in that glue. Forget it. Come on, you little booger. Does anybody else fight with bling like this? No wonder I never use it. Okay. Let's get that on there and then get our butterfly on here. Okay, here goes. All right. How do you like it, guys? All that struggle, I think it came out okay. Now we'll be putting it on here. And this is going to open up. I'm going to write her a note. But I need to round the corners. And I need to ink around that. And that's going to go on there like that. I should have put my tape on there first. I did. I should have put my tape on. I'm going to use Aline's tacky glue. But I want to I want to want to ink around it with this stuff I inked around that other one with these Crayola. I don't think I'm going to go back into making the card business again. Just don't think I'm going to do that. It's too much stress. Kind of messing up my crayon. <sighs> That's 
good. Now where's the lid? Okay. Halloween's tacky glue, here we come. Now, gotta make sure I get it on there right. I hope it sticks. It's having a hard time. It's pretty. I like it. Do you like it, guys? I hope you do. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And you can leave me a comment whether it be good or bad. If you don't like my card, I don't care if you tell me you don't like it because I'm not making any more of these. I do not believe I am. Maybe I'll try it again. This was nerve-wracking. But I like it. I think it's pretty. So thanks guys for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.